Welcome back to the underground village my fellow going medieval fans. I know I left you with a cliffhanger last time so the wolf pack attack is what I deal with first. Then I go back to digging that compact staircase which will lead to the underground tree greenhouse but I hit a few problems and have to deal with those in a number of ways. I also showcase one brilliant suggestion you have given me in the previous episode about actually being able to farm on rocky soil. It was only a matter of choosing the right plants. My villagers worked their shovels dull digging for the future underground room where I will do all my work with furnaces and kilns and I use a much more invested design of wooden beams to prevent future stability problems. That was another thing I have discussed with you in the comments and during multiple playthroughs in these let's plays. Link to all of them can be found below in the description with the guides and tutorials. Now let's continue exactly where we left off in the previous episode at the cliffhanger where I'm getting attacked by this wild, what do they call them, bunch group? You probably know what I mean, of wolves. So, how do we defend? Well, Juliet here, Ju Juliet, Juliet here is going to be bitten to death if I don't get her off of here. And her weaponry is... Uh, what does she have? She has uh, two-handed good stuff. So, she'll be a melee, but she needs some armor. And evidently, all of them need armor because I took their armor off in order to help them move about the settlement faster. So, my first thing is to go to the Manage tab and give armor to all my melee characters who are going to be fighting hand against tooth well the ones who are using the short bow i suppose they could use the armor as well and that's about it so now for them to actually do this i'm going to take all of them i think that was all of them yep drop them and then send them over here to the armory now that should be the place where i have all the armors but i do have a good leather armor here one over here and no now no this is a shirt so that's two more i think i have about 12 so i'm actually going to tell them to not put on the wood armor because that's 0 0.35 armor rating and 7 out of 80 hit points so that's practically useless so now i'm going to release the time speed it up check out what the wolves are doing yeah they are advancing towards the village but as soon as my villager managed to get in they stopped advancing and now you see why it is so beneficial to have an underground village because enemies won't come at you through doors and the thing is that this door is on the default it's not open so if i had held it open they might have attacked through the door but with the door being at default it closes on the enemies so they can get in so now i can get my villagers to actually get their gear if they are going to do this so let's undraft them and see whether or not they're going to pick up all of these armors oh yeah they definitely did and let's see what else can be done so those armors were picked up but there are a few more here and here i just need to make sure that everybody who does not have armor is going to get armor so she doesn't have armor she's going to take this and then i think i saw some more people so you can take is this armor? Yeah, it is. Equip. Assigned to another settler. Okay. How about this one? Nope. This one? There we go. You can equip that one. So that's equipped. That's equipped. That's equipped. Okay. So now everybody has armor and they can deal with the wolves. Let's see where they are now. They're over here currently. So we need to once again draft everybody. Just make sure to grab all of them. Yep. Draft them. And try. Let's see. I'll send them over here right outside. So here. Let's just send everybody who actually has a melee weapon here. And then we'll send the ranged people up there to cover them over to the second level over here. Let's put them on the first level, actually. And I think that's going to give them enough of an advantage over the wolves. You here, you here, you all the way here to the staircase, and you on the top of the staircase. So that's about it. Now let's pray to the gods of battle that this goes well okay are they going to attack yeah they don't seem to be attacking currently okay that's good so the range folk can get up there and they've started to shoot now we'll just make sure to select the melee people why don't i have more melee people here why are you did i click on you to go all the way up there nope i don't remember doing so what did i did I misclick somewhere? Yeah, I'm not sure. 
but let's send them over here and pick all of them so that there we go oh oh there we go we are now getting attacked where is that wolf now there it is okay he's dead now where's the rest of them they're over here let's go with the melee folks being behind the traps so they can have some protection and then attack the wolves as they come one by one yeah but the range folks are dealing with them really well okay next get that one why are you guys still up there why oh my god get over here that wolf <laughs> he actually managed to get through a lot of these traps folks come on get down here and i think this is the last of them yeah that was definitely the last of them okay so how did we go through this are there any damaged or hurt people i don't think i see any injuries no injuries so only a little bit of hp lost and that was it and i didn't even use the trick to actually get them to shoot without reloading which is something i showed you in the previous episodes so this went particularly well i'm just going to now use the manage tab and tell them no armor now what is going to happen is that they're probably and most obviously going to just drop this armor right there on the floor next to their beds and then it's going to be set to not touch which is unfortunate because i need it to be moved and then i have to use the option to allow all of this stuff to actually be moved to a proper stock file instead of just being in these rooms let's go who else over here and i think that's about all of it although somebody might have not been in their bed at the moment that i told them to take off their clothing so let's see that should be all of them now okay i'm gonna slow down the game now and that was it yeah all armors will be moved to their positions and they are now digging this new room here and uh, i think that's about it that i wanted to do with their management oh here is one more armor i was sure i forgot one and there it was okay so what am i doing here i'm crafting male armor which i'm going to need i do need to destroy probably some other armors that are of bad quality like i don't even know how can i destroy this one i think i need to move it to a stockpile for it to rot away for it to finally get destroyed but in any event i do need to keep drilling here for that hole where i'm going to be having my trees grow and i need some staircases to get down there what do i have plenty of i have plenty of clay but i also do have plenty of limestone bricks so i could use those limestone bricks and then place the first staircase going like so now over here there is an interesting tip that i got from one of you and thank you very much because it was a brilliant idea and suggestion and i'm going to showcase it to you right now i did not know this nor have i ever saw it written anywhere but this player your name is on the screen now thank you very much told me this when you have a rocky soil oops i you can't see this now okay so this is limestone the spot here so you can grow anything there this is normal soil so you can grow crops but rocky soil you can actually grow some stuff here a red current shrub check grass check trees check so you can actually grow stuff here now i've already invested a lot of wood in these shelves which are now covering this rocky soil up here so no i want to construct them to place some red current shrubs or anything here but i will now know that down here when i dig that hole where i'm going to grow trees i can actually grow trees grass and red current shrubs on rocky soil even though i might not have just grassy or regular dirt down there so it's a fantastic tip and thank you very much it will definitely be included in my future guides and tutorials about this game link to which you can find up here if you haven't watched them before now these shelves do need some settings because here i want to have a high setting for food which is just raw so red currants cabbage barley i don't want to be placed here because i have a room for barley which is already over here so no barley but beets carrots raw meat mushrooms so that can all go there and as for medicine no i don't really need to move anything here textiles no so i'm going to copy this setting and then transfer it over to all of these shelves and that way these shelves are going to be used for storage of everything 
that I get from my crops which are inside of this underground greenhouse and I also have a full video on underground greenhouses and above ground greenhouses and three greenhouses if you want to watch that guide up here and below is the link to it now they have finished these staircases and now I can start digging here once more as before I dig from the furthest tile so that the resources gained from it can be picked up and not left in the hole which would then prevent me from building anything but wooden stairs which is another great tip you can build just wooden stairs over objects and no other stairs but I want to be using limestone brick stairs so as you can see I don't want that resource to be blocking me over here this is still being produced now do I have anything else for the construction I think I have but I think I saw that flimsy shirt being made before we got attacked by the wolves so that's one thing I need to remove and I need to actually find it to be able to remove it which I'm not managing to do right now which is weird because if they had moved it from here up to here I should be able to see it unless I have placed that to be stuck out somewhere else okay but since this is dug and I need this material moved I'm going to wait before I give the other to dig the next tile for that material to get moved but as I said I'm looking for that shirt and I am not finding it anywhere which is totally weird but since they have finished starting this room up I should add my wooden beams here so as I said this was going to be the plan beam 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 and then over here no beam these are the starting beams that are going to provide the supports and then I can dig around them so once they are finished I'll continue the digging of the rest of the room and it's going to be a pretty large room because I will need a lot of room for all these buildings well not buildings workstations like the kiln and the other of these mounting furnaces that I will want to move from the outside to the inside and with those removed and gone this will pretty much mean I will have zero production above here above the ground except for example the fact that I do have some farming yet being done here and the trees but as you can see I am moving that with my underground greenhouse and the tree greenhouse to the below ground part of this village at the moment now there is one thing that I wanted to make sure that they do actually pick up these corpses because they are currently rotting is it because I don't have a spot for these I should have this caucus spot here dear hair wolf so it's just somebody not doing their job let's see who do we have on steward and hauling job we have maghenild maghenild yeah uh, <laughs> i'm just going to guess that it's magnehild or something like that so she needs to prioritize hauling on the stockpile for these wolves and considering she can only take one wolf caucus at the time this is going to take quite a while to do yeah, she probably can't take more than one. Oh! Oh wow! Since when is this possible? Wait, can you take more? No, you're already working on it. So somebody will be doing this. Let me just check. Has she taken the corpse over there? Oh, she's praying now. I guess it's her schedule. Pray time. Is it? Yeah, it is. But she should be done with that in a moment. So I'll give her a job to go and pick up more of these wolf caucuses as soon as she's finished with that. There we go. And now let's go back to digging over here. What? Nobody has moved that clay. Come on, people. You're really slowing me down on the progress with that. And I don't want to be leaving clay there. So I have to use wooden staircases. So please move that stuff. Okay, there we go. Now we can dig down. As for these things, are they growing? Yeah, they're ripening in two days and 13 hours on winter day five. And these are young beets. But it's weird, why did he not plant more? He stopped at like 50%, 60% and then didn't want to plant anymore. And how about the carrots? Yeah, they're young too. And you see there's no problem with them growing. And on this rocky soil, I might as well use just for the sake of fun that red currant shrub. Let's see whether or not it gets planted. Could be interesting to see. Wait, why did I not pull this all the way to here? Huh. Okay, never mind. I'll extend these. And then we'll have these all the way to there. So extend and it must have been the camera position that I was like looking at it from here and then didn't notice that I had another field. But in any event, oh nice, this is dug and cleared out so we can dig there. Somebody should be along. Yeah, there she is. She's doing it now. And over here they should have finished 
I, no, not this. There we go. Building these. Yep, these are in place. So we can keep on digging this room out. Let's see. Do I want another pillar here? Well, I could do a longer, bigger one. No need to really cut this, although I kind of want to have these on occasion go... No, it's enough to go from one side to the other. I don't really need to go and cut it from the other side. So yeah, I can leave this like so and then just start cutting. Whoop, not that one. That's the support pillar. So like this, this, this. Cut this, cut this, cut this. And then, so how far did I want to go with this? To the left, through here. Okay, so I'll leave them to it and then go back to see has that hole been dug and cleared? Yes, it was. And now we can add a new staircase going down. And this is practically the most compact staircase you can do because they, whoops, actually turned it on the wrong side. Good thing I was here to notice. Because they can move from the end of one staircase onto the top of the other. You don't really need another spot like I used in my other let's play, the one with the 10 super settlers and I call them super settlers because I customized them using the settings now available after that content update number two. So now they are cutting through this and as I said I'm going to need a lot of room for all the smelting furnaces and kilns. And talking about smelting furnaces, how am I with steel? 50? Yeah, it was probably taken to be able to make more male armor and that takes 65 so almost all my steel will be used but I will get more steel once this is done so that's good I don't really have any more iron nuggets and since these do spend a lot of steel and to produce steel you need a lot of iron I'm going to have to dig more iron but I kind of don't like doing that in the winter because my characters will freeze at this temperature minus 25 so I'm no I'm not going to dig anything unless I see a day with like above zero temperatures outside and then I'll send somebody to dig that so why has this not been moved I mean it's not rotting so it's okay I mean they don't really have to move it right now and I don't really have that much space over here I really need to find a way to move this off of my base or to call it village so and have they picked up all the wolves caucuses nope this one is still here where are you you're sleeping how how are you with sleep oh you're not full okay so i won't take you there manually but yeah i need that moved as well now how much raw food do i have currently no i just have some roasted meat wait roasted meat do i not have herbs to produce lavish meals Lavish meals? Lavish meals. Not enough resources. Yeah, so... Oh, they probably did create lavish meals. I just have, like, roasted meat from before I had a kitchen. That's probably what's happening there. But in any case, that's okay. How is the food here? Is it going bad? 44 out of 50, 41 out of 50, 20 out of 50. Yikes. Yikes. Okay, so that's going to rot if they don't eat it. And how much is there? 10. Hopefully they'll eat it tomorrow. Yeah, that's the problem with these shelves. But yeah, I've spoken so many times about that, that I'm just waiting for the developers to actually allow us to pick how many resources can you fit onto a shelf so that I can prevent this from happening. But in any event, these are of course empty because there's nothing to put in them. This was not made in the previous workday, so I'll wait. Now, over here, this is waiting for the worker. It will be made. Why are you idle? And wait, if you're all woken up, I need this one to go up here and pick up this body and take it down. And there don't seem to be any other wolf bodies, so that's the last of them. Unless, okay, no, there actually are. Here we go on the first floor of the staircase of doom. There's another one. And maybe there are others. Yeah, there's another one over there. So there is plenty of work for you to do. You just need to actually go and do that. Do you have now two? Yeah, you have. Excellent. Let's take that to storage. If I even have room. Yeah, I do. And then pick up the last one over here. Now, why are you... Wait, what's the temperature? So, oh, 3 a.m. Minus 20. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to be digging anything outside yet. So this, oh, nice. All dug. Let's go with digging further. So this and then go with two more here, two more here, two more here, and two more here to increase the length of these. Then we'll go three through here and another two through here. Now, this is going to be a problem. Or maybe not. I mean, I'm on this like second level down and these are dug here i could just fill them up with something like clay 
walls. And that will be that. Yeah, I'll just fill them up. Although it is kind of cold for them to be working outside. But hopefully they won't freeze. It shouldn't take them long to build those. So that's going to be dug. And over here, are we ready? They might actually be able to dig this. So let's try it like this. From the staircase, did they dig this one? Could they do that? I'm actually not 100% sure. Let's see if somebody comes over here to do that. As for research, uh, I don't have that many. I have 26 chronicles. I think that everything costs like 30 chronicles on the first and second tires. So I'm going to have to wait for more chronicles. And I do seem to have a lot of textbooks, although I will need a lot of them. So let's just see the person who is doing it over here. What's her skill? Intellectual 20, while yours is 38. So, but I need actually fewer chronicles and a fewer textbooks and more chronicles. So I need you to switch places, you two. So you come over here, you come over here, and then you work over here, and then you work over here. How about that? How you, how, what? Okay, it's operating. I won't complain. It's fine. Now, let's go. Oh, there we go. Harry, you're my man, bro. You're managing to dig this from here. Excellent. Just keep on doing that. Okay, so... Oh, wait, no! Ah, oh, damn it. Ah, oh, that, was, that was such a pain in the ass. Oh, I forgot to actually place something here first. And now I've lost ability for the stairs. Oh, totally my bad. Okay, so limestone blocks first. I totally forgot about the limestone blocks. I need the stability. And yet... Oh, ah, that this just got... Uh, how am I going to get the stability here now when this is broken? I think I just totally screwed myself over. I didn't... Ah, uh, man, why did it break apart so easily after one of these tiles got broken? Uh, how do I do this now? Let's see. Staircase from... No, wait, why? Maybe I can bring back the staircase with just these two for support. Or maybe I can't. Let me see. Yeah, it's not good. Ah, oh, man, this is so unfortunate. How am I going to get myself out of this problem? Um, so... If I make... This here... He cannot climb up here because he does not have the staircase to do so ah oh, gosh damn it do i have a out of save somewhere i'm going to have to check on this yeah so fortunately i did have an auto save we are going to have to go back a few minutes but i think i don't have too much to do considering how much i had to go back to yeah i'm just going to rewind you until the point where i actually made the mistake of digging under these stairs but before i even do that i'm going to add the flooring underneath this staircase so it does not get destroyed like it just happened before oh wait i cannot set up the flooring on this one can't be reached but it's okay i think they can reach it once they build this staircase so i just need to wait for that in any event i'll get back to talking about this playthrough as soon as i'm back to the point where i screwed up okay so here are the two limestone block floors here but the third one cannot be reached and I've tried this multiple times it just doesn't work so what I'm going to hope for is that once I dig this and this my villagers can actually go down and from underneath build this one and that the staircase won't break down because it isn't supported on all three points but we'll find out soon enough and let's go and see what else do we have here we have carrots that are growing nicely as well as cabbage and beets seem to be growing as well now what else was it that I need to make sure to do? Do I have enough room here for all the meals and stuff? I do. And there are packaged meals here that I've allowed them to use. So I am practically out of those. And I can always discover the tech for them and make them if I really want to. In any event, Juliet, Juliet is going to be digging this. And the staircase didn't break. Okay, so this is great news. Now we can take out this support here. And then hopefully we can build this floor section here before we dig the next one so that should function okay and to prevent myself from making the same mistake again let's already set up these floors over here underneath the second staircase so she'll be doing this in a moment let's speed this up 
dig 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 and then let's see will this work wait was that already done no it's oh there we go it's now reachable excellent so we are out of the woods as for that now over here they have dug a lot oh i'm reaching iron from underneath oh cool i just need them to oh so it's minus 20 yeah i want to send them outside to be putting in pillars into these holes i'll leave that for spring probably but i do have lots of spots to add more wooden beams to so now let's add these over here to support this room so that was three length this is one two three four length oh so i increased the length by one i actually didn't notice that but okay it, i think it's still going to work out nicely now up here i think i noticed some other wolves somewhere some caucuses that my villagers have actually missed to pick up now where are you now oh there they are so i still have some and i need to take one of these villagers to actually go and prioritize picking these up so i can get more meat out of them let's go one and then okay she picked up both that's actually progress considering how they do this usually now under here let's see about these stairs do they have now full underneath tiles and this one is still not built it is construction set another settler sarah let's find sarah oh there she is she should be able to finish this now she has brought in this but now it has to be built let's send her back not wait for somebody else there we go excellent now below this we already have the resources two 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 and then just somebody needs to come here and build that so with that done we can start digging the rest of these that means first this one and then the next level down now because this room here that i'm going to have trees growing out of needs to be about three or four levels deep i'm going to have this be an open staircase as i actually build this so as to not waste any space but i will also need to have some kind of an exit to some other rooms if i want to build like larger rooms or next to that more rooms to serve the same or some other purpose so just plan out how exactly the staircase goes to some place like maybe i will dig this wall and then have another passageway leading off to here with the doorway being there just to separate the rooms so that's that one and then you should dig this next one here and then take the resources out of there now they do have a close by place to place these resources here where they can fit raw materials starting with clay they should be able to put limestone in case they run into any and i think that's about the only materials that they can run into over here so theodoric is going to be digging that let's speed him up come on a little bit more and then where are the resources no resources okay. no yeah no resources okay we can dig this next now above here i seem to have some deer but i think i'm all full nope i do have room on the stockpiles so i might as well have them hunt is it minus oh yeah minus 14 yeah so it's quite cold as we can expect at winter day six but at least they could fill in these walls here these sections that i have dug out previously so i'll have them do that and i won't have them hunt since i already have gained a lot of meat from all those dead wolves and i think i already got a lot of leather indeed i got a lot of leather and i could start making leather helmets or do i need them i mean i do have lots of these folks with these helmets but they do seem to have taken damage or maybe i took them from the dead bodies and their armor ratings are really low and even these yeah the sturdy iron male helmets they're damaged too so let's go and have our armor smith make us let's say how many do I? so 45 leather so i have enough for like three for now at least but i think i will have enough leather for four once they're done with skinning all the wolves and that may actually be a reason oh but it's already minus 23 so yeah i shouldn't go into the hunt mode because it's too cold so i'll leave that for some other time i definitely should hunt for more leather during next spring and the warmer seasons to have something to do during winter research oh there we go so we can unlock reinforced door wooden trap wooden weaponry fletching 
or something more advanced like crafting better shields. They still haven't fixed this. It still says building info shield. Hilarious. Preserved food, fermenting, better furniture. I think I'm going to unlock this actually. Yeah, I'm gonna go with furniture so I can build more stuff. And then I'll need a lot more chronicles, so I will definitely have to build another one of these. Can I copy it? Yes, I can. Excellent. So I'll copy one more of these. Let's just see where to put it. Side of the stockpile here. And just remove parts of the stockpile so that it doesn't get in the way. There we go. That about does that. Now they seem to be working and sleeping. Some of them. Have they dug all of this? Yes, they have. And now I can dig. Actually not dug. They have finished the construction of the wooden beams. Meaning that I can tear down the remaining of these. And I can already start moving in the kilns. So I will take this one, say that they are supposed to relocate it, and move it down here, like, hmm, let's see, hmm, I actually should have left more room for these things, they are quite big, I guess I can fit one in here, and then the other one will go onto the other corner, let's go with this one, uh, relocate, it's a good thing that I actually increased the size of this, considering this fact, okay, and I'll do the rest later. So as you can see, good progress with digging this. I'll be able to place the next staircase here. They should have finished this. Yes, underneath. So staircase won't drop like it did previously, which we have fixed. And in this room, I'll have all my kilns and furnaces. And I think, yeah, considering it's still cold, I won't be hunting anything for a while. How about these things? Ripening in three days, nine hours, one day, seven hours, and five days, seven hours. So midwinter but they are growing no problem well that is about it we are smelting good armors we are making a good new room we are moving on to the workstations we do have good food growing during the winter the room for the trees is being dug albeit slowly because of the staircase and we just had a large increase in lavish meals because of all the wolves and so with my villagers sleeping here i'm going to say goodbye for this episode thank you all for watching and stay tuned in for more